What's good, everybody? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of Fair Use. And today, she's 37 years old without a job, but she got a lot of goddamn standards. So, guys, let's get into the video. Hello? Oh, no. <laughs> What's your name, baby? Um, Athena. Athena, where you calling us from? I'm in Jersey. Move back, you're too close to the phone. Oh. Hold on. Let's see that weed, baby. You guys, okay, there you go. You're so pretty. Okay. How old are you? I'm 37. 37. What do you do for a living? Um, well, currently I'm on a leave of absence. Um, but I'm normally like a food service manager. You think somebody dumb, huh? You done fucked around and got your ass fired on your day off. You're broke. You getting your money, you got your ways? Put it up sales. You nasty. <laughs> Okay, she no. has, her, <laughs> he has her ways. Okay. Do you have any kids? I got one son. How old's your son? He's gonna be 15. Okay. And this is Adina Jersey, 37, currently on a leave of absence. She has her ways to get money. Is it legal? Like, is there because it's I legal? Think, <laughs> oh I think God. it's important for a guy that's interested to know how you're getting income. I don't have an OnlyFans. It's legal. <laughs> Is it, are, are men giving you money in the meantime? No, I don't date men. Oh, you date women? Yeah. Oh, well. Reaction room. So you 37, you got a 15 year old son going on 32. He probably six foot five any goddamn way. So you don't have no motherfucking job and you don't use men for money because you use women for money because you, you know, try anything sexual. See, y'all got some damn nerves trying to come onto the goddamn internet to make some man's life a living hell dealing with all y'all dusty ass problems. 37, 15 year old son, probably ain't never been married, ain't got no job, and you getting money from women. Oh, well, let's get right into it. Sorry, fellas. And you're so pretty. <laughs> They're gonna be so upset. I'm sorry. Uh, so let's do it. Adina Jersey, 37 is the Aries. We're currently on leave of absence. She has her ways to get money. She ain't trying to tell us. She has no self esteem. You have a son, though. You once dated men. I haven't dated a man in like, 10 years. Thank God. Thank God. Please give her a round of applause. Take that shit over to someplace else. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my Lord. You ain't got nothing to offer no goddamn body. Okay. I, I so, don't think. <laughs> so females only. Yes, females so what kind only. Of, what kind of female? All the men are saying, damn, someone said <laughs> fuck. No, no, say thank you, Jesus. Take get your ass up out of here. I'm so glad that, oh, ho, 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 shabala, tala, tala. I wish more of y'all would go over there. Trust me, like, <laughs> this kind of person? Ha, <laughs> <laughs> What kind of woman are you looking for? She's like, it's kind of, <laughs> like the type of woman I, I like, my friend has been telling me, like, I'm not gonna find that type. So I'm not really into like feminine women. But I don't really like the aggressive women, like what they call studs and stuff. So I like a soft stud. So someone in between. Okay. So <laughs> What's some deal breakers for you? Um, a deal breaker. I guess. I I don't think that I could date another woman with uh children. So if they have children, then I I don't think that I'm you know, I can't do it. For all the LGBT ladies out there, heart to heart, we're gonna agree to agree right now. I feel sorry for some of you ladies if y'all dealing with this too. Y'all, y'all seeing what we seeing, right? Okay, y'all, y'all dealing with this. So wait a minute. What if you're a sister and you live that, you know, you live an alternative lifestyle, 
and she got kids, but you can't have none. All y'all have done is replaced us. I feel bad for y'all because you see what we're going through. Okay, and I'm a woman with children. All right, do you want more kids? Or are you done with that? I mean, I'm open to it, but I mean, I'm 37, so. Okay, yeah. so, so you gave us kind of a description, a soft stud. Any other appearances that matter for you? So like, I don't like a woman with short hair. As I still want a woman that's feminine looking. So, I mean, I like the idea of someone having like hair, like long hair. I don't want someone that wants to be a man, is trying to be a man. I just, but I still like women, so. <laughs> hmm. She wants a woman who looks like a woman and acts like a woman. She don't want some woman who's trying to look like her, act like a man. Damn, I think that's what black men are looking for, huh? Ain't that a bitch? Well, at least I'll give her, I'll give her out of applause. Think of the man, they're really asking this. So that's non-negotiable. You are into women, not men. I'm not into men at all. Sorry, fellas. I know you're trying hard. <laughs> you saw, so I this, don't. This woman got to make a certain amount of money. Yes. So they have to, okay, so it has to be close to six figures. And six figures is not even a lot in the tri-state area. You know, like if I'm making close to six figures, like I'm close, I'm close, I'm close. I'm like I'm 80,000. You're not close because you ain't got no fucking job. You just got, you, you ain't got, you unemployed. How you close and you ain't got no damn job. You using women for money. What are you talking about? You just getting dustier and dustier each day. So I want someone to make close to that. I can't deal with anyone that's making 60,000. It's just not gonna work based on like what I like to do. What you like to do is not do nothing and not have no job and use people for money. So it has to be as six figures as close as you can get. Yeah, as close as you can get to six figures. That's ideal. Okay, when was your last relationship? My last relationship? was, I think, like in 2019. Okay. You don't gotta answer this question, but when was the last time you was intimate with a woman? Um, I wanna say like last year, July maybe? So okay. All these lies. So women are sending you money, we'll stop the show. <laughs> there are some simps, both in the men and female community. You know what I mean? But. You ain't had them cheeks clapped since that time. I just don't believe that. The lie, okay. Reading the phone up a tab bit. So this is Adina, Adina in Jersey, 37. What's the age range you would date? Um, I mean, I'm like willing to do, uh, I can go as low as 30 and as old as like 44 maybe. Okay, she'll go to 44. Does, does she have to be in Jersey? No. No, I don't want anyone in Jersey. I don't want it. Because I'm from New York, so I feel like a lot of, like, people from Jersey, like, they can't, it's like they can't get with the, the New York attitude. Like, just with the last girl, it's like, they think that she's hard, but she's really not. Like, that's just, it's just the New York swag. You know what I mean? So I don't want anyone from Jersey. The New York swag is obviously the, if what you are, and shout out to my New Yorkers, my boy is Dylan Ravacour out there. So I know they not dusty. And it's a lot of New Yorkers that ain't dusty. But you have the dusty swag because you don't have no goddamn job. And you on here asking for shit when you can't even deliver nothing to nobody else. They can't have no kids. You got to have kids. You ain't got no job. They got to make six figures. You are dusty as fuck. And I hope these girls run away from your ass. I would prefer someone from New York. I just need somebody that is used to dealing with someone that's like from New York. Okay, okay. Somebody broke. You want somebody used to dealing with somebody broke. I got it. Got you. All right, Dino, why do you think you're single? Because I'm stubborn. <laughs> broke. Broke and stubborn. But the first part is broke. <laughs> I'm a little picky. Broke and also very picky. Okay, because she's picky. So why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Um, I think because I'm a vibe. I don't know. What the
the fuck is that? Somebody supposed to be with you because you're a vibe? Does that pay bills? Does that help you get? Oh, you're a vibe. A vibe, that's like smoking weed or something. Snorting cocaine. Drinking Hennessy DSLP. That's a vibe. You know what? This is the reason why I don't deal with y'all. Check this out. Go to Kendra G's channel. Watch the whole clip there. And the ladies out there in the other communities, please continue to take these off our hands if you want to. Uh, please. We need y'all support. Uh, Black Men United, we need y'all to support. Come take these. Maybe y'all can do something with them because we can't do nothing with them. Okay? We rather we rather them be with y'all because y'all y'all probably have more patience for them like that. Okay? So appreciate you guys. We up out of here. Peace.